Hello, fan fans. We're going to take a look at uh, another fan now, and it is the Sama SF200. And this is a three pack, and it comes with a hub that can handle four fans. Standard ARG, uh, sorry, PWM. No ARGB on the fans now. I've run out of ARGB fans, and I'm not going to be buying any more fans with my financial situation being as precarious as it is. The only way I'm going to be able to get any more fans is if my fans start helping me out financially. If they, you know, obviously my bills have to come first. But, you know, um, that's just the way it is. So these are interesting-looking blades. Take a close look. And the those um, I don't know I guess you can call them plateaus are on both sides, but you know on one side they're in, one, the other side they're out, and it's a PWM fan. Okay, so now it's time to put on our ears and see what we can hear. There we go. That is it right there. And it's already got a low hum, a low tone I mean, hum. Not too bad, though. There's a mar harmonic resonance. There's another that's a higher tone. There's another lower one. And a higher one. higher one and another higher one and a lower one again So it's uh, relatively noisy. Now let's see if I've actually finally managed to buy a Salma fan that's worth its money. Um, and this is uh, approximately two, maybe a little bit more than two millimeters of static pressure. So that is exciting to actually have finally found a, a fan from Salma that actually has static pressure worth talking about. So you can use this for a case, you can use it for air cooler, but I would not recommend it for a water cooler. It's just not quite strong enough. I personally prefer a minimum of uh, three millimeters of static pressure. Two just is, is only going to be good if you've got a radiator that is not particularly dense or thick. Otherwise, it just isn't enough power. Let's take a look at the specs. Now I did uh, forget that it does come for the um, the hub. It comes with a um, adhesive pad that you can use to connect it to something, and there are actually cushions for the corners that you're going to have to install yourself if you want to do that. And you don't have to, obviously, but there's no reason not to. And they may actually reduce 
vibrations and thus be beneficial. But it's up to you. So now we can look at the specs. All right, uh, Sama, also known as Guangzhou LG Technology Company Limited. I'm sorry if I slaughtered the name. SF200 fan kit, uh, 9SIB41TGVD5755. Wow. Uh, and it's uh, each fan only costs four dollars and twenty-seven cents total, twelve eighty for the pack. So that's a that's actually really really reasonable. It actually kind of is um, half the price, if I'm not mistaken, or actually less than half the price of the Arctic uh, P12 PWM PST fans. So yeah, congratulations, Sam. You actually got my attention finally. Um, before this, I was just like looking at their stuff and thinking to myself, "Oh God!" But yeah, uh, turn it, it has uh, C and RHS certifications, Chinese Chinese uh, make, 120 by 25 millimeter, 60,000 hours of life, no warranty that I'm aware of, 150 grams, nine volts, uh, nine volts, nine blades. 105 millimeters between the holes, 800 to 2200 RPMs, plus or minus 10 percent. 90.29 CFMs, which makes it pretty good. I mean, uh, 2.88 uh, millimeters of water of static pressure. And I'm going to say that that is a little bit on the high side. I'm going to say it's less than that. 35.7 decibels, 50 centimeter fan cable. That is not daisy chained, but it is sleeved. PWM connector, hydraulic bearing, 12 volts, 2.4 watts, 0.2 amps. And it does have indicators for direction of rotation and flow. Turns in a clockwise direction. Comes with, in the three pack, of course, 12 fan bolts. There are also the corner cushions and the four port uh, hub with the 27 centimeter cable and the adhesive pad. Thank you for watching this video. Also, thank you to uh, Lawrence Abrams at bleepingcomputer.com for allowing me to use his forum to promote my videos, and thus I promote his website, uh, which is a great website with lots of resources for tech people and for people who have computers, be it if you need help with hardware or software or even with malware. They have lots of resources. They have also got lots of news on their website about the tech world. If you would be interested in me presenting some of that news here on this channel, would you please let me know? Um, I already have permission from Lawrence Abrams to do that. I'm just not sure if that would be something of interest to people, so I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, so. Please like, subscribe, share. Let people know about my channel if you think it's worth it. If you don't think it's worth it and you want to give me feedback, please do so constructively in a video or in the community tab. Um, if you can't be constructive and civil and logical about it, then you probably should just be quiet because I have a low tolerance for people who like to troll, which is to say if you're going to be a jerk, I will not put up with it. So thank you very much again. I hope you have a wonderful day.